Hey friends, in the previous video we had seen what is the two-factor authentication and how this helps us to enhance the security for your local account as well as for your online account. Now in this video we will see how we can enable the two-factor authentication for Linux box. So in case if someone is just accessing this through the SSH, so this will ask for the two-factor authentication. For enabling the two-factor authentication on the Linux box, I am using the Google Authenticator PAM module. So first you need to install the Google Authenticator PAM module by using this command that is sudo apt install the PAM hyphen Google Authenticator. So this command will help us to install this uh, uh, Google Authenticator PAM module on this Linux box. So post installing this you need to run the command that is Google Authenticator. Press Y. Now you need to scan this uh, code through the Google Authenticator application on your mobile phone. So I am going to scan this. So once you will scan so this will just provide a code after verifying this uh, this uh, scanning code so i am going to scan it and will enter the code which will be generated through, through the google authenticator application now the code has been generated i need to put over here this code this is 746 098172 and enter so once the code has been verified this has just provided a list of emergency scratch codes and this codes will help you when your mobile phone is not with you so you can use this emergency code for accessing this machine for through the two factor authentication now press y this will update it now press y again and uh, y again and y again so now this has been just installed and configured uh, Google Authenticator on this PC. Now what you need to do, you need to enable the two-factor authentication on your SSH configuration. So what you need to do, you need to just put the command that is sudo nano and uh, slash etc slash pam dot d slash ssh d and enter there are something wrong with what we did so here you need to give the space over here using the nano editor you need to just edit some configuration on this file so just go on the bottom of this file and type the command that is auth space required space pam underscore google authenticator dot so and now you need to just save it control o enter and control x so you have just exited from this file now you need to go on the ssh configuration file so you need to type the command again sudo nano space slash etc slash ssh slash ssh d underscore config now press enter and search the KB, kbd interactive authentication so you need to do you need to make the changes on this line currently the default configuration is no so you need to enable it yes I'm just going to, on this line. This is the line here. You need to make it yes instead of no. Now, control O 
for saving this file press enter and control X so you have just saved it successfully now restart the SSH server by entering this command sudo system control restart sshd dot service this has been restarted successfully so now when you are just accessing this machine from any remote location or uh, from this machine itself so currently I'm just checking it uh, by using the SSH on the local machine itself so what we need to do I will do the SSH and uh, username and the IP address of this machine or you can type the local host as well because we are just checking it locally I am putting the IP address of this machine press enter now it is asking the password this is the first factor so put the password over here this is now it is asking the verification code so this is the second factor which we just enabled through the Google Authenticator application so I need to put the Authenticator code over here and uh, so this has just allowed me to successfully access this machine so in case if I am not using the Authenticator code so this will not allow to access this machine so this is the method which you need to follow for installing and configuring the two-factor authentication for your Linux box using the Google Authenticator application. Thank you for watching this video.